Okay, hi. So, ACL. This is my ACL helmet. And as you can see, it's something of a veteran. Um, actually, it's a, it's a really cool helmet. Uh, this hat has protected many people. Um, I believe the count is up to four or five now. Uh, this did go with the first Team USA to Poland a few years ago. And so it's got history. Um, it is one of those things that, you know, if you've ever been experienced um, an item that, that has history and speaks to you, this is actually one of those things that, that does. I absolutely love the look of this hat. I love the feel. I love the way it works for me. I have one issue, and that issue is this faceplate. So I have exercise-induced asthma, uh, which means, short version, um, I have challenges breathing when I'm exercising. Now, as I've said before, I have 30 years experience in fighting in the SCA, so that's nothing new. That's nothing that I can't deal with, nothing I haven't figured out, nothing I haven't worked through before. But in the SCA, there's one thing I haven't done, and that's fought with a closed face helm. Um, I started out with a closed face helm and it really didn't work for me. Uh, that challenge was something I was never able to overcome, but then to, on the flip side, it wasn't one I had to overcome. You know, in the SCA, you don't need a closed face helm. You can pick up a bar helm and you're good to go. And that's pretty much what I did. You know, I went to a barred helm and then I went to a barred helm that was custom made for me. So, you know, that was pretty straightforward. So here's my challenge. This spot right here is where my nose sits. And when I exhale, it gets this nice bubble of hot air. Now, it goes out there's there's flow through when the air is when the air is still the hard part is getting actual flow through so you know I can blow out the the flare de lis. But here's the challenge: is breathing that hot moist air back in triggers the asthma. So, what my next step is going to be is match this row of eye slots of of holes going down. Here. So I'll parallel these here and then put another pair here so we're geometric. Um, but with the idea being that will break up that bubble. And it's this, it's right here at this spot that that bubble forms. Um, it'll also give me a little bit of a lower, you know, low angle visibility. But that's my next step here. Um, we're going to see how that comes out. Um, I have a little bit of, of cleanup for to do from some of the scarring from some of the recent fights. Um, right now it's got the oil on it so I can clean it off and, and combat the rust. But but that's my plan with this. Um, that's my next step to, to answer that um, challenge that I have. But it's done me well. Uh, it's, it's solid. It's a tank. Um, I've taken quite a bit of beating in it already. So we're going to see how that goes. Um, and when you see me doing some of my ACL training, you know, when I, when I actually put some of those up, the intent is to actually train with this on my head uh, so that I get used to that in my face. And I learned to breathe with it, and it really is. Breathing is huge. Um, my SCA fighting career, I can, I can fight with my SCA helm, and I don't have it readily available. Uh, actually, maybe I do. Hold on. So actually, yes, I do. Actually, yes, I do. So the SCA helmet. There's my SCA helm. Um, big difference, <laughs> you know this. This grill, that open face. I can wear this all day long and no issue at all, nothing. I can, I can fight, 
bout after bout after bout after bout. I can go, you know, at practice, I could, at practice, I pretty much just walk out and stand. I just stay there um, and just wait for people to come out to play. And when they do, I play. Uh, and then eventually people stop coming out, and that's when I take my helmet off. In this thing, I find my endurance is exactly the opposite. So there's, there's effort I need to go through to fix that. Um, and I think part of it is this, and part of it is, you know, internal to me. So there we go. Uh, that's, that's my first little bit about my foray into ACL and my first adaptation, or my first uh, comment about ACL armor. Um, if you find armor you're comfortable in, you can go forever. And that's, that is one of the keys I have found in fighting, period. Um, number one is being comfortable. Uh, it helps your confidence, it helps your mind, and it, it helps you recover. You know, you're, you can expand, you can empty your tank, and then turn right around and go again the more comfortable you are. Um, and that's, there you go. So thank you very much. I hope you find this useful or helpful, and talk to you later.